step one is about how to hold the shuttle and you will have to do exactly the same as you will do in the short serve. The shuttle has to point to your feet or to your knees. When you reach up here and you're about to do the movement, you'll reach a bit under the shuttle to reach the perfect height. If you lay it down like this and you'll reach under it, you will hit the feathers, that is not allowed, and you will lose all of the control in the stroke. Step two is about how to create the energy to your stroke. And it is important that the energy will not come from the shoulder or from the upper arm or from anywhere else than the finger and the underarm. You have to make the movement as small as possible. Otherwise, your opponent will know what you are up to. This will be at the first back line, and I'm only using this movement. And if you cannot do this, this is what you will have to practice at home. Are you curious about the perfect height on your flick serve? Then look at this. When your opponent is standing on the court, don't matter if it's here or if it's here, you will have to imagine that instead of doing like this, your opponent will do like this. 10 centimeters over your opponent's racket right now is the perfect height on your flexor. Your opponent will not be able to reach the shuttle if you stretch and you will force your opponent to do a movement behind the shuttle and going like this. And that is the difficult part of receiving this flex serve. Step number five is very, very simple. Do it. Do the flick serve at training and in match. If you play without a flick serve, your opponent will know right away and they will keep moving forward and they will reach your short serve higher and higher and higher. Position before starting the serve is so important if you want to do a very good serve. Reaching out with a backhand grip, maybe slight a bit of the grip, going forward and reach with both of your arms away from your body. Don't reach into your stomach here and form an O with your arms and going out here. This is the first and very important step to reach the perfect serve. Positioning your feet is also a great, great aspect of this short serve. I like to do my right foot in front and my left foot a slight back. Other ones do it with both of the foots close to the line. I like this, so this is my choice. Second tip is about how to hold the shuttle when you're doing the serve. And first of all, I want to show, show you how not to do it. Don't grab down here with a lot of fingers. Take it up here. These two fingers, grab one or two feathers, and this is your position. Try to be aware of how the shuttle is pointing. This is a very, very important thing. If you turn your shuttle one or the other way, the stroke would be so much worse. Try to have this one pointing slightly downwards to your feet, to your knees, cover them up. 
go together, and now you're ready to do the surf. Remember, the shirt are supposed to get enough speed to reach the net, but when it's here, it has to loosen the speed and go downwards. It's very important that it's on top of the net, it loses the speed and not here. And it will float up and you'll get it right to your stomach. Next tip is about breathing. Breathing can be very important when you do these long rallies in badminton. But it's also very important when you're ready to do the next serve. Your pulse will be very high. And when you are in the third set, 19 on, you don't want to do a crappy serve. My tip to you is that you take a nice and deep breath into your lungs. And when you breathe out, you will start the serve. Next tip is for the eyes. Where do I have to look when I do the serve? And this is a big question. A lot of people are arguing about this all the time. And I have my tip to you. A lot of people are doing this, getting ready. And when they're ready, they are looking on this position. And of course, this position is important. I told you before, but this position is now in place. And your eyes has to be on this place. This is the spot for the eyes to look when you're doing a surf. The next tip is about putting a variation to your surf. You don't want your opponent to know that you're doing the same old, short, straight serve all over again. Three small steps to doing this. Well, the first is just to move all of your body. This is the easiest one, but I promise you, your opponent will know when you're doing a variation. The second tip, my favorite, is only moving my hands and my arms like this when doing it. And the last one, only moving the place of the shuttle from here to here.
Ooh, ooh, ooh.